The Acadians were originally French people that migrated from France over to Nova Scotia. But what part of France did they actually live in? What did they do in France prior to leaving? And what would cause them to leave a land that was so beautiful and travel across the ocean to a land that was raw and untamed? They came from a very concentrated area in the eastern part of France. The largest city uh, that they were grouped around was Poitiers in eastern France, close to the uh, Atlantic Ocean. And probably 95% of these early Acadians, they were French at the time, uh, <clears throat> were farmers. At the Acadian population that moved, most of them came from a place that's called today La Vendée, which is an old province called Poitou in France. And most of them were engaged in, uh, <clears throat> as farmers uh, in a feudal system that existed in France at that time. In other words, they worked and farmed for the property that belonged to a lord or someone that was a, a big uh, property owner over there. The phenomenon people always ask, why did the, why did the French leave? the area and why did why would they go to what was basically one of the first settlements in Canada was in Nova Scotia and the main reason was actually religious unrest this was the time in the 17th century where there were a lot of conflicts between Protestants and Catholics uh, the Acadians themselves were very Catholic in nature uh, they had long been since the, since the latter part of the uh, 16th century and into the 17th century, horrendous um, uh, chaos and turmoil uh, between uh, uh, Protestant uh, people who mainly were pro protesting against uh, the church as it was administered from Paris. And uh, there, were, there were horrendous, there were massacres that took place. There were burning at the stake of witches and all kinds of things during that time. So I'm, I'm certain that that was one of the issues that they were trying to escape. So they, they left France, that southwest region of France, and went to the New World. And they would work for uh, X number of years. I think it's five, five years uh, for the company. Um, trapping furs, and at the end of that five years, uh, they were free to, to work for themselves entirely. When they first arrived, they discovered that they had to adapt their own agricultural style to a new region that was very different. It was a ocean front, a different climate. They, be, they had to reclaim land in order to plant. And so they built a tremendous system of dikes and channels in order to sort of bring the land back. Very, very similar to the type of land we have in South Louisiana, strangely enough. There are a lot of parallels. But they were also very isolated and were left alone by both the French and the British who at different times controlled that part of Canada. Uh, and so they were able to continue their, uh, their strong family ties, their agricultural ties. They enhanced that with uh, fishing and seafood and trapping. They learned from the Native Americans in the area. And as long as they were left alone, they were very contented. What happened, though, was that uh, about the beginning of the 18th century, around 1700, the British took over, finally, after the Thirty Years' War, and took over the a control of the area and they were very nervous about the Acadians at that time because they were Catholic and the Anglican Church was really strong and the British wanted the Acadians to change their religion. Same thing that had caused them to leave France in the first place. England demanded that the uh, Acadians who wanted to be neutral uh, would not fight against England and that uh, they would, they would change religion too, because in those days, religion and politics were not too far different. So if you support the Catholic Church, you would be, you would be supporting France. And England, of course, was not Catholic. So 
But of course there was a war, a huge war brewing at that very time. We call it the French and Indian War. So from England's point of view, they wanted to get rid of that population because had they joined with the French people in Quebec, they would have been difficult to defeat. As it was, they were still difficult to defeat, but they, they did defeat the French. A plan was devised to gather up all of the Acadians at, at that time and bring them into a church. Still very religious, they brought all the men into a church. They locked them in, they took the wives and children and separated them, and then they announced that they were going to deport them. This is what we call the Grand Dérangement, uh, you know, the big upheaval. And the plan was to take these Acadians who were reluctant to follow the British rule and to disperse them throughout the uh, British colonies in North America. So we know that many of them ended up coming to Louisiana, but a good number of them were also dropped off in the colonies along the eastern seaboard, places like Maryland, Connecticut, Virginia. Some of them were even transported back to France, but they all left on boats. And then a number of them actually came to Louisiana. Of the, the Acadians who lived in pre-expulsion Nova Scotia, about half of them died during the expulsion due to starvation, disease, exposure, and even violence at the hands of the British. 